Hello YouTubers and uh, when I came home today on the from high school on the 12th of September that's right the digital switch over of course I didn't need to do anything since I've got my skybox in my bedroom right here anyway um, this was waiting for me so I bought this on eBay for 5 50 because I couldn't track it down anywhere and it is the 11th Doctor Series 6 figure and uh, this is the white shirt variant so yeah let's get straight into this because honestly sorry about the giggles let's just really get into this so let's take a look at the face sculpt now my head is slightly to one side on this figure, so, you know, that is a little bit annoying, but I guess I'll have to live with it. Okay. Okay, maybe it's easier if I just get... So my camera can zoom right out and focus. There we go. So, uh, it does look a lot like Matt Smith, but my one has a slightly dodgy eye, which you can't really tell on camera, and also, um, this one has quality control, just here, you can't actually see, but there's glue, like, spilt onto here, also, um, on the leg, you can see I was worried about that looking at it in the packaging, but... So it's alright, and this leg, my god, um, the paint off the trousers has gripped onto the leg, so it's hindered the articulation, so I can't actually move this leg at all, twist it, I can still bend it at the knee, so it's, it's alright, I guess. But uh, as you can see, he's wearing the, the um, red bow tie, I, I'm pretty sure... It's meant if it's based on um the one that from um the impossible astronaut and dear the moon it should be blue bow tie but still he wore this one in the doctor's wife um he also wore this particular costume in night terrors in series six he he is going um, to be wearing uh, some episode in the series 7 but, uh, and also this is the one that we were meant to get uh, for the Christmas adventure set except we got sort of a be beigey one so this is also what he was wearing in that story the tweed jacket um, same as before really I can just focus you can you can't really see uh, but it's got all the tweed on if I, sorry, I'm being a nuisance, if I get a torch, you can don't really see the tweed, there we go. So, lovely tweed effect, and it carries on here. Uh, just a thing to notice, there should be four buttons on here, not two was it three buttons uh, but uh because the small buttons on his jacket but the white shirt is nice just uh playing white but it's really nice at uh, the trousers and the legs and the boots um they're not glossy they're just plain black But you can see, you still see all, all the, ooh, his hair's crumbling. All the, the detail on the boots as well. Which is pretty, pretty good. The reason I, and just to take a, ooh, steady. Just to take a quick look at the packaging. Obviously it comes with the disgusting flesh goo. Which I'm not even going uh, to bother ripping out. Because if you've touched it once, you'll never want to touch it again. It says, it says um, the oh, cause I have to look. the eleventh 
Doctor in the corner here. Nice big Doctor Who logo. Comes with a flesh mask. Uh, why every... Who? Okay. In the comments below, put down if you like the flesh masks. Okay? I want to see how many people actually like them. Just out of interest. I'm sorry there's no background because uh, it's a dull day today so there's little light. And on the back, you've got all the figures from Weave 2. So you've got the Ganger 11th Doctor with Soft Effect. Eight, the Flesh. Ha head and Hands. You've got River Song from Series 5. The Astronauts. The 11th Doctor. And uh, if you are... If... Uh, Anyone was wondering why there was an eleventh doctor um on the we whatever version. Uh it was actually this figure. And you've got the Cyberman which I've only ever seen two at Forbin my Forbin Planet. So one day I hope to track that down and I'll just show the science figure off here because it's easier. There you go. So there is his little uh, poorly painted Sonic Sugar. Normally I won't mind because obviously they're that small. Series but five ones were better detail. Still, you know, they just look sharper. But anyway, let's let's do the articulation in the head. Nil. I can't get a move. I really tried, but that's to do with the leaking glue problem I've got and come on like work with me not against me I try put them put that hang on there go on, have a go okay his arms are ball jointed so they can go full 360 and go out to the side 90 degrees articulation at the biceps so they can do a 360 at the elbows Risks. They can do a 360. Sorry, camera. And back in. There we go. Um, articulation at the triceps. They can do 360. Or at least they should be able to. Mine can't. Articulation at the knee. And at the waist. And so there you go. And just to do a quick comparison you can see the uh, white shirt variant on the left and the previous version on the right just here so you can see they are exactly the same uh, the same sculpt and the, pretty much the same outfit apart from a slight repaint a repaint on the shirt and the bow tie. So who knows uh, for series seven, maybe we already knew we're getting a Roy at last character at last. <sighs> but um, maybe we're going to be getting a blue bow tied doctor with the white shirt from Asylum of the Daleks. Because generally, uh, the first figure they release is the first time you see the Doctor in that story. Or maybe they might do it with the blue shirt and the red bow tie. So pretty much, you've got the new sculpts. So you can get on with it. Talking about uh, Asylum of the Daleks, uh, I thought it was okay. Okay, not the best, no, sorry, not the worst. I uh, made a custom. So this is just an extra. Um, not particularly based on any Dalek. But, uh, you know, I had a broken remote control on one day and I thought, mm, why don't I just make something out of it? Also, um, which shall be coming in the in the next series 
because obviously this is the end of season one of reviews. My eleventh doctor modified. So as you can see, two buttons. So. So, you know, as I'm just rambling on, I'm just going to pretty much um, say thank you. Thank you uh, if you've been watching my review season one. If you've been, regardless if you've watched all of them, if you've watched the PlayStation 2 reviews, the uh, Bang Tang reviews, there's more Bang Tang stuff coming uh, next season. The Ultimate Omnitrix, when I look back at all the Omnitrixes. So that's coming as well. And um, I don't know if this will come in season two or the start of season three, but uh, whenever I get it, mainly uh, which is going to be the eleventh uh, Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver Universal Remote. Uh, so that's coming up. I'm I'm thinking at the minute. Oh, uh, the PlayStation Three because I got one during the holidays. Uh, Doctor Who: The Eternity Clock. So that's sort of bringing the game, the PlayStation gamers and the Doctor Who fans together in harmony. So that'll be hopefully uh, very 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 good for all of us. Give me a minute. Oh, oh yes, yes. Uh, master with computer bank TARDIS. That will be coming. I did review it. I've forgotten if I uploaded it. Hey, but I did review it. I may if I haven't uploaded it, I will re-review it. So that will be coming. Uh, so that's really all I can think of for the moment, but for now, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone. And uh, obviously, I say this every time I see thank you. This is the end of review season one, and I'll see you next time. Stop!